I'm working on uh, more Montana prep. So uh, in my last video, you saw that I uh, built the uh, peninsula out of some pine that we cut on the property. And the main countertops, there's the farmhouse sink cut out there and the other countertop are gonna be made out of concrete. I've done some concrete countertops in the past and they came out okay. So I'm working on those. This in the corner here looks pretty sloppy right now. And this is a technique that I'm, I'm using. If you ever do any of this, you can use your finger to run the caulk down here. But what I did, I put a little ball on the end of a stick and then you put the caulk in there and you take your, your radius and you push that in. And then that pushes the caulk out on both sides like that. And then when that dries, you come back and you peel off these sections and you have your radius in the corner.
have the two countertops poured for the kitchen and we used a charcoal gray color. They look really black now, but uh, my experience with this is when they cure and dry, they're gonna lighten up quite a bit, but they're uh, the darker, the better for me. Um, I kind of want them a dark charcoal gray, kind of goes with the, the cabinets. So I'm just doing a little bit of final touch work here, making sure we've got them trawled out. We'll let these cure now for at least four or five days before we do anything with the forms. And then I'll come back with a diamond grinder and grind the edges um, on the back side of the countertops before we take the forms out. I poured the important one last, which I should have done first, and I ran just a touch short on the, uh, the charcoal gray, so I put a little, a little spot of concrete in the middle here, pushed the colored out. Um, hindsight's always good. I should have poured this one first, but uh, I didn't. And I'm just doing a little final trawl job on this one. I also got this one a little bit too wet um, compared to the other one. I don't think enough to make any difference on strength, but it kind of makes me mad I got that just a, a little bit too wet. To be honest, uh, if I admit it, I think I counted wrong when I was putting uh, jars of water in. I think I, I miscounted and put one extra in. So now I just need to be patient and let these cure. Um, I watched some other people online on their cab or their builds, off-grid builds, and everybody's complaining about the weather. I think we had 30 plus inches of snow at the cabin the other day in Montana. I talked to my neighbors and they said it was still no, snowing a few days after that. And uh, I hope they've got plenty of supplies and uh, that they're staying safe. But uh, I always worry about them when I'm here. But uh, they're pretty, they're pretty self-sufficient. Uh, so we'll let these dry for four or five days. We'll get the uh, edges ground. We will flip them over and we'll diamond polish them. And uh, we'll let that sit here for probably a week to make sure they're, they're dry. And then I will seal those. I'm going to seal these with tongue oil. Done a little research and uh, I think that's what I'm going to seal this concrete with. I just got the countertops out of the forms. And I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, that's the color I'm looking for. They're going to lighten up probably just a little bit more when they cure. But uh, so far, so good. Everything looks good. Grinding. Got a couple little um, little defects in there. But for concrete countertops, it came out pretty nice. So we'll get them ground up, and we'll take a look at them. I'm getting ready to do a second grind on the, the countertops. Put a slurry on to kind of fill in any pits that you get or any air bubble holes or holes, I guess. So now I'm gonna go back over them and give them another, another pass and then see if we have any more holes to fill. And we'll probably do this one more time till we get our final look. I don't know what it's like in your uh, area but uh, or your neck of the woods but here in Iowa the spring has been terrible uh, the spring of 2022 it's uh, windy cold and overcast or windy cold and raining depending on the day so it's about I don't know 40 some degrees out here on May 1st but we're going to give them a second uh, grind here and see how we come out It's either May 3rd or 4th, and we finally got a day that uh, I could come outside and grind this concrete without freezing. It's still pretty chilly out, but uh, I spent about an hour and I did a final grind on the concrete. And I went a little bit deeper 
than I was kind of thinking, but I like the look of that. You can see some of the fine aggregate in there. Um, I'm gonna seal this with uh, tongue oil, but I'm gonna let this dry thoroughly. Uh, I think the rule of thumb is you want your concrete cured two weeks um, before you apply a sealer, something like that, or 5% moisture, but I think it usually takes about two weeks for that to get to there. So I will let these dry. It's been almost two weeks since I poured this. Um, some people like to grind them a little bit sooner than what I did, but it came out really well. So in case anybody's interested in my process, it's pretty similar to other people's. I use this precast pro formula um, mix that you can get online from Concrete Exchange, I think. And then uh, I use 5,000 PSI regular uh, quick crete or concrete and then I ground these I did a little bit of a hundred grit not a lot I pretty much started with 300 and then I went to 400 600 800 and 1500 grit and those are just diamond pads um, and then I used a wet grinder I don't know what the rpm on that is it's relatively slow and in case you're wondering, I got these on eBay. I've had the green ones um, from the last project I did, and they were pretty expensive when I bought them. I don't remember what I paid, but they, were, they weren't cheap. These pads on eBay were like three bucks a piece, 2.90 or something like that, and they worked just as well as the expensive pads. Uh, they lasted fine, they ground well, they polished well. So if you're looking for these, um, I would buy them on eBay. There's the the brand. What's that say? Stone Velocity. Today I'm sealing the concrete countertops. Uh, I've got one coat on this side here. Haven't started on that side yet. You can see the difference. And I'm using a pure tongue oil for my sealer for my concrete countertops. I think it's gonna take uh, four to six coats of this stuff. So the first one just went on here and it still looked, it looks pretty even. So I thought maybe it'd be a little blotchy after the first one. And I'll set up here and just, all you do is apply it, rub it in, soak it in, wipe it off, let it dry and repeat. So we'll give you a little, little look of that here in a minute. So just take the tongue oil Add a generous amount onto the surface and start rubbing that in. With just about any finish you use, you always want to put them on as thin as you can. So you want to wipe off as much of this excess tongue oil that's sitting on the surface as you can. Just do a little update. Um, I think that's five coats of uh, tongue oil on the countertops. I think maybe one more coat, maybe two more, and then we'll buff that a little bit. And uh, the countertops should be ready for their trip out to Montana. This morning I've been working on getting the countertops in the peninsula secured. I think we're ready to go there. We're on day two. We're installing countertops. It's dark outside, but we are gaining. We've got the concrete ones in. There's our sink. 